afternoon i don't know what it is about like makeup that makes me look literally a hundred years old or maybe like my own age i don't know father god okay so today is friday we're gonna do questions i'm gonna figure out um what you guys want to know and try to answer it to the best of my ability what is your most embarrassing moment <laughs> <laughs> every moment of my life <laughs> I don't know like I have so many embarrassing moments in my life I remember once when I was in high school I had a crush on this guy and I was like trying to like because I used to think that I wanted to be a model when I was younger so I used to practice like walking on the catwalk um, in my hallway in my corridor at home and then I remember one day like getting out of my dad's car my mom's car and walking up to the guy and I was like strutting my stuff, my like 12 year old stuff. And then I literally like walked into a tree. <laughs> For some reason, I still have that like seared into my memory. And as I've grown older, I've done like way more embarrassing things, like hundreds of more embarrassing things. But for some reason, that's the one that's like in my soul. Why did you choose to major in math at university instead of choosing a literature or writing related major? Uh, Cause I have African parents and they were like, you better guess what? But for real, like I really, so I did mathematics in undergrad and it was mainly because I wanted to be an engineer when I got into university, but um, at my undergrad like you had to do like a year of pure sciences before you could move on to like engineering or medicine or whatever and I was like in the pre-engineering track and then I like failed out of everything the only thing that I didn't fail that was I was always like really good at was math mathematics and I actually really enjoyed mathematics I noticed and even though I was I had like a bit of a rough time in undergrad just in terms of like my coping mechanisms for life um, I always knew that I loved mathematics and I always enjoyed like proofs. Mathematics at the higher level is a lot more creative than people realize. Like you have to really have a mind that is like capable of abstract connections to be able to do mathematics. So I still love it and I still sometimes like, I remember when I was studying for the GRE a few months ago, I like I was so happy doing math and like doing um, algebra and like geometry and like word problems. I love math and I love helping my friends um, who are doing mathematics in any f way shape or form because it's really fun. And like in another life if I could like I would be a math teacher like a mathematics teacher at high school because I think that's where a lot of people get this idea that it's like a difficult subject or an unpleasant subject. And I think that if it's like taught properly, you can see that it's something like beautiful and worth loving. What was the last book you read? Oh wow. Um, so I'm reading like a few books at once just because like my attention span is like, oh. So the last book I read was, I guess like the book that I got in a previous video, E.M. Forster's Aspects of the Novel. Um, that's like nonfiction that I lost or I, I guess the last fiction book that I was like really into was The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides or something like that. Eugenides? I don't know. Yes. So that's the last book that books that I read um, recently. What is a fictional character that you can't stand? <laughs> it's funny because I saw this and immediately like the first thought I had was like, the the duchess or something in the american by henry james is the last like novel that i was like really like in because i think because it took me so long to read it that i was like in it you know and the fictional character i could not stand was like the mom of the girl that the protagonist was in love with because she was like so snooty so snobbish so like elitist i mean the whole book is like elitist in its own way and it is predicated on a lot of like weird social ideas that americans have and westerners have about you know class and whether you can earn it or you know dignity something that only the rich you know etc it's a lot of stuff but that character pissed me off i was just like oh my god why jesus or just because it was like so she had like she was so against her daughter marrying him in a way that just felt vindictive and like cruel. And then if I think of a character I didn't like in an African novel, I think one of the wives in 
Secret Lives of Baba Segi's Wives. I think it was the wife who was like the most like materialistic and most like superficial. Yeah, and then fictional character like in TV, back from you in Netflix, I was like Father Guard. Like, because <laughs> everybody's like obsessed with her. I'm like, can she even read? <laughs> I know it's hard to write a character that people can be obsessed with, but the Beck character in you, I was just like, really? <laughs> Y'all murdering people for this? I <laughs> do you, boo boo. Um, when was the last time you were ho home? Um, I was in Botswana in May. Um, I went to like my cousin's wedding, my Swazi cousin's wedding in Cape Town, in the Western Cape. We were in the vineyards. <laughs> and it was like very fun and very fancy and I got to see like all my cousins from Swaziland and I got to see Mafiki Zolo perform. It was like an amazing wedding and... What was your childhood like? Who did you grow up with? Which schools did you go to, etc.? My childhood was like um, very like sheltered, I would say. Like my mom was like so paranoid that we we're gonna get murdered. <laughs> so like my brother and I didn't like leave the house very often. Like we weren't allowed to like go very far. So my brother and I ended up like playing a lot of games together and like making up a lot of like very intricate games, like board games, like pretend games and like, um, all this stuff just like a lot of like fun creativity was like what my brother and I did we made comic books movies like we were just like it's just me and you and like we have hours to, our, to ourselves so we need to like think of a game so that was really fun in that way um also because I didn't speak Setswana very well so I felt like really shy yeah just like keeping to myself with my brother so that was really um what my childhood was like but I enjoyed it I think I enjoyed especially being so close to my brother was really nice um, and I got to like have like a really good relationship with him and we still do um, yeah we're very kind to each other and like very we rarely like fight or say anything mean to each other almost never actually um, so that I think I credit it to that upbringing of just like me and him against the world and we're just like Oh, I know I'm getting sad because I miss him. Okay. <clears throat> the next and final question is the most depressing question, which is, when is your book coming out? Guys, why are you doing this? Hmm? We're just, we were having a good time, laughing, enjoying ourselves, reminiscing. And then people ask you these touchy, these touchy questions. Hmm? Trying to embarrass me. Hmm? You want people to laugh at me. Is that, is that the purpose of this question? Theatrics aside, um, yeah, I'm still working on my novel. Very optimistic about it, but I think it, I think like maybe a year or two um, before it's like out in the world or any thing that I publish. I don't know. So you know, bye. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, and please follow me on Instagram. I think so that you can answer these questions. I tried to do it on Twitter, but I just don't check it enough anymore because as you recall from episode one, I'm on a Twitter break just because it was too much for me. I was just getting stressed out all the time. So um, thank you for watching and please subscribe so that you can get more videos from me, Karate Chop, Karate Chop. Okay, bye.